In a surprising yet strategic move, the Philippine Army has successfully repaired and returned a number of its aging FV-101 Scorpion light tanks to active service. This development marks a significant milestone in the Army's efforts to maximize its existing assets while modernizing its forces. The FV-101 Scorpion, once the backbone of the Philippine Army's armored capabilities, had been largely sidelined in recent years, especially following the arrival of the more advanced Sabra light tanks purchased from Israel's Elbit systems. The reintroduction of the FV-101 Scorpions is seen as a practical decision to bolster the Army's firepower during a period of ongoing modernization. While the Sabra light tanks, which are built on the ASCOD chassis, feature larger turrets capable of housing higher caliber weapons, the Scorpions still provide valuable supplementary firepower. Their return to service not only enhances the Army's operational flexibility but also underscores the importance of maintaining and upgrading existing military hardware even as new platforms are acquired. Historically, the FV-101 Scorpion light tank played a crucial role as the Philippine Army's primary tank platform before the revised Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, modernization program was implemented. This modernization program paved the way for the acquisition of more advanced armored vehicles, such as the Sabra light tank, which have been instrumental in increasing the Army's firepower capabilities. However, the Scorpion's significance cannot be overlooked, as it served the country through numerous conflicts and was a mainstay in the Army's armored divisions. The last notable deployment of the FV-101 Scorpions was during the 2013 Zamboanga siege, where they played a pivotal role in the Army's operations. Since then, the focus of the Armor, Pombato, division shifted towards using upgraded M113 armored personnel carriers, APCs, which were fitted with Remote Controlled Weapon Stations, RCWS, and UT-25 turrets. These upgraded M113s proved invaluable in urban warfare, particularly during the 2017 Marawi siege, where their mobility and firepower were crucial in the densely populated urban environment. The experience in Marawi highlighted the limitations of the Army's armored capabilities, particularly the need for more versatile and powerful light tanks. This realization was a driving force behind the decision to acquire the Sabra light tanks, which are now at the forefront of the Army's armored units. Nevertheless, the repaired FV-101 Scorpions are expected to fill a critical gap by providing additional firepower and supporting the Sabra light tanks in various combat scenarios. The revival of the FV-101 Scorpions also reflects the Philippine Army's commitment to maintaining a diverse and capable armored force. While these older tanks may no longer be the primary combat vehicles they once were, their continued service demonstrates a pragmatic approach to force management, maximizing the use of available resources while awaiting the full implementation of the AFP modernization projects. As the Philippine Army continues to strengthen its armored capabilities, the reintroduction of the FV-101 Scorpions is a reminder of the enduring value of older platforms when properly maintained and strategically utilized. This move not only preserves the operational readiness of the Army but also provides a crucial stopgap as the modernization efforts progress. The return of these light tanks to service is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the Philippine Army, ensuring that it remains a formidable force in the region while it transitions into a more modern and capable fighting force. The reactivation of the Scorpion tank also highlights the importance of maintaining a balance between acquiring new military technologies and making the most of existing equipment. In a region marked by shifting geopolitical dynamics and emerging threats, the ability to quickly deploy reliable and well-maintained armored vehicles can make a critical difference in maintaining national security. 
The Philippine Army's Armor Division, through its ongoing restoration and maintenance efforts, is demonstrating its readiness to meet these challenges head-on. This achievement serves as a reminder of the enduring value of the FV-101 Scorpion and the role it has played in the Philippine Army's history. As the Armor Division continues to modernize and adapt to new realities, the restored Scorpion tank stands as a symbol of resilience, ingenuity, and the unwavering commitment of the Philippine Army to protect and defend the nation.